Back at Dad's house, working on the Buick Grand National. Uh, to recap what we had done, uh, we had a turbo, uh, the right side ga uh, manifold gasket blow out. So when we went to replace that, we realized that there was a big crack in the manifold. We got a new stainless piece to replace that manifold. And we put that back on, uh, went around the block once, and uh, we had the gasket for the turbo base blow out. So we're working to replace that turbo gasket. and. Right now there's one last bolt for me to tighten and in the last episode I said I was going to uh, trim a little bit off this bracket and I think I'm going to start with that. Once that's trimmed off I should be able to tighten that bolt. We can put the downpipe back on, hook up the rest of the exhaust and then I want to start the thing. Uh, it's got the new Mega Squirt ECM and I'm excited to use that. So. That right there is the nut I'm trying to tighten. You can see the gap at the base of the turbo. I need to tighten that nut to close the gap and compress the gasket a little more. But in order to do so, I need to trim off some of this bracket that's in the way. Uh, I'm going to start with a sawzall, and then I'll use a grinder to kind of clean it up. And the bracket will still be plenty strong to support the turbo. Okay, it worked. So that's a cut of the, uh, or a view of the, of the mess I made. I probably should have covered that hole there. Oh well. Now I'll just uh, cover that hole and take the grinder to clean that up. This is an electric grinder. Got it from my grandpa. It's an old Craftsman hand grinder. And this is a, a speed control box he had built. Here's the circuit diagram on the top. Cool little uh, venting hole there. Fuse in the back. On the front, uh, power on, speed control, and universal motor speed control. I'm not sure how many amps it can tolerate. Here's the bit that I'll be using. Still works. Okay, there's no sharp edges at least. Looks like the gasket uh, has definitely compressed. It's gotten a lot tighter. Um, I'm going to throw the downpipe on and see how this works. The bolt is going to get down the stuff. Okay, under the car, trying to line up this exhaust. I got a new step clamp here. I think this will be useful. You need a gasket? So between that flat portion of the... Ah, uh, there's a, there's still a gasket there. I think I'll just see if it, we can reuse it. It probably hasn't been driven up to... Yeah, to really burn in. So this, I should slide over first. At this point, we're trying to put the uh, test pipe up. This is where the catalytic converter would normally go on this car, but uh, the catalytic converter has been removed. Uh, you can see me jacking up the pipe here, trying to fit this test pipe in. And uh, you can see here, as I lower the jack, I am able to get it to sort of fit, but it's really tight. Um, and later you'll see that uh, this sort of this tight, this tightness causes the downpipe to uh, have an interference with the frame. And that wasn't going to work at all, so we needed to create a bigger gap at the frame. See if we can see that I'm rubbing on the frame there. I don't know what we need to do to twist this or.
I'm gonna have you help me jack this up a little bit. Okay. So it turns out the test pipe, which has that expanded length that slips over the down pipe, is probably not meant to be used with a U-bolt uh, type clamp, and that's what we had used previously. The U-bolt type clamp that I think everybody's familiar with uh, had pinched that thing closed, so it wasn't really expanded to its full uh, diameter anymore, and that turned out to be the problem. So uh, we jumped, we took that pipe off and jumped in the car, headed over to the local muffler shop. Alright, we're back here with the newly expanded, freshly expanded part. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Inch, all inch of room here now. And uh, I think that's going to be the ticket. Oh, so it wasn't going in it deep wasn't enough? Letting, it wasn't going in deep enough, and oh, so okay. I couldn't get this. I'm wondering why you were fighting it so much. Yeah. I never had it. There's no other way to expand it without that machine. Either. No, I know. <laughs> That's the spot it was rubbing. Looks like I've got clearance all around. That machine was cool. And quick. Okay, looking in the car. New Mega Square ECM is in, is partially installed. It requires a vacuum hose, so I'm gonna right now. I haven't ran it through the firewall. I'm gonna run it out the window, and I had previously tapped in right here. Installed a driver for this USB USB serial adapter. Let's try to see if it'll detect the ECM. All right. Please have something in here. I think that's what I need. I think that's gonna work. Successful. Firmware signature mismatch. Connect anyways. Coolant reading 57 degrees. Pressure 103, which is good, we're at sea level. Throttle position zero. I think we're ready to crank this thing up. Should we do a quick look over? This coolant hose I had bent out of the way, let's get that back. Okay, you want to stay up here and when it turns over, make sure nothing's you gushing want? out. Yeah. Ready? Start a data log. A lot better than it was. Is it running on all cylinders? A little rough.
RPM sync. We've got no got no red lights down here. Tomorrow we're hooking up that air, the wideband oxygen sensor. Okay, today went perfectly. Uh, we got the exhaust back together. I got that little part ground out. The exhaust, the turbo bolts were tightened. Uh, we made a stop at the muffler shop. That thing took less than 10 minutes for us to even leave the house, get to the shop. He didn't even charge me to expand that pipe out. Offered him 20 bucks, but he didn't take it. Uh, that was the perfect solution for why the down pipe wasn't fitting up. And uh, hooked up the ECM. Was able to even load all that mega square software onto a, a new laptop, which hadn't done it before. Get it to connect to the ECM. Uh, start the car. It started on the first try. And ECM read out perfectly fine. It's running rich right now. Next thing is the wideband oxygen sensor, and uh, we'll know how this thing's really running.